<laughs> oh, oh, right there, don't let me, don't let Josephine steal your share. Tarnation is all that commotion. You're upsetting my hands with all that hollering. I apologize, sir, but I'm here to lead you to the 20th century. The deal of the century. <laughs> well, I hate the 20th century. A million fancy new inventions, but nothing for us hardworking farmers. Now you getting off my property pronto, city slicker. Must be designed owner of this fine property. I'm Martin B. James Wilson, purveyor of America's dream. I knew you was a salesman. Even more reason to get. Now get! Uh, but sir, why aren't you totally free, Farmer Smith? Free? Correct, absolutely free. Slip, roll her off the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the vehicle of the future. The 1910 Ford Model T motor car. What the? <laughs> You're giving me a horseless carriage? No, my good sir. I may be giving you a better offer, a free driving lesson. A car may last 10 or 20 years, but a driving lesson lasts for a lifetime. By the ridiculously tiny angle wings of Mercury, why would I want to learn to pilot such a contraption? Because you, sir, are an intelligent modern man and may someday, the far, far future, want to own such a contraption, which is available today with a low, low price of $900. <laughs> $900 for a wagon without a mule? A bargain, to be sure. Now, I'm going to I'll show you. That's fun. Fun? I remember fun. <laughs> I had me some at the county fair when I was a young and oh, There was a rock throwing contest and, and, and giant hog rides the, and, and a pickle jar the size of a silo. Ah, who am I kidding? Fun is for infants and fools. Now you take your buggy and van moves, you fancy damn man. I got chores to do. Wilkers, I just gotta make the sale. All the kids are counting on me for rent money, and baby horse needs new shoes. <laughs> yes, folks, I do have four kids, and it's not funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, Farmer Smith. Maybe you should consider the effect on. The ladies. <laughs> the ladies? Yes, the ladies. The house folks tell me you're a bachelor. Oh, okay. yeah. Never found the right match, I suppose. By the alabaster arms of Venus. I should have made a play for the pickle girl at the county fair. <laughs> Lord, she was even prettier than the pickles. Get those regrets. It's never too late for a sophisticated man like yourself, especially when you're behind the wheel of a motor car. What on every love and earth do you mean? I mean, the widows of the county who saw you rolling down in the chariot like this, they will swoon. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies swooning. Now there would be a sight to see. But by a rusty old sword of marsh, you have a silver tongue, Mr. Barney. I'm just telling you a proven fact. When a fellow takes a helm of a tent, Lizzie, the whole world is filled with awe and admiration. For real? Yes, for real. It's, it's, it's like if you captured a Bengal tiger and put a saddle on it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. That sounds like, oh wait, what'd you call it? Fun, yeah. By the swollen bunions of Jupiter. I feel a song coming on. <laughs> well, let it out, good sir. Make it loud and proud. <laughs>
per hour. Oh, man. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, I'm never going this fast. It's like a roller coaster. Whoa, whoa. Here's a left turn and a right turn and a left turn and a right turn. Ooh. Okay, Josiah, let's slow down and head back to the farm. Oh, how do I do that? Take your foot off the gas and gently press the brake. It's the other pedal. Do it. Wait, I, I, I'm doing it, but nothing's happening. The turn thing's broken. What do I do now? Oh, gosh, Mighty, the pedals aren't working. <laughs> what? Oh, my heart. Oh, this is it. The old ticker's finally giving out on me. Everything's going black. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let me think. Josiah, we're going to have to switch positions. I'm going to get around the car and get to your seat from the other side. You're going to what? Are you crazy? It'll be all right. Just keep calm. <laughs> what? 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 Well, by the crumb and crusted beard of Uranus, I don't know what's going to kill me first, my heart or you. Don't worry, it's a proof safety procedure. Mr. Ford has done it himself many times. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, oh, hey, Sam! It's a doctor for my allergies. By Neptune's fractured fishing pole, I can't believe you made it! Okay, Zaya, slide over. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn off the engine, engage emergency brakes, and press the, the car comes to a slow halt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 